Hi everyone, thank you for coming today. So um, today I have something that's, uh, um, I don't know if you've seen this, but this is a magazine transfer that I've made from the magazine. Uh, if you can see, the good thing about something like this is it's sort of semi-transparent. I don't know if you can see. If I put, can you see that? Like how it's um, it's imperfect and it looks actually quite good on a book page like that. So I'm going to show you how to do that. And then we're going to decorate the page together. All right, I've just moved uh, to the kitchen bench because I've got a container of water here. Uh, so it's not very deep. Uh, it's not a very deep. I'm just trying to see if you can see it there. It's not a very deep um, uh, container at all. So you don't need a lot of water. And um, what we're going to do is... Actually, before that, I needed to... So this is the magazine page, which I'm going to make a transfer and I'm going to take this part here because I want the part where the flower is with packing tape. just going to tape this part just press it down I'm going to do this one too and this time so these are, are from the magazine they are the magazine pages but you may be asking why not just put that piece straight onto your journal right the reason why we would want to do this is just to add a bit of interest um, and so I would overlap that it doesn't matter of the creases uh, again it adds interest to the because it gives a different kind of texture in your journal okay. so now I'm going to take that I'm going to soak that one in in the water doesn't have to be hot water I'm gonna to have to cut this one and that's gonna go in the water so I've soaked that in here and let's leave it for about 5-10 minutes. Alright, so it's been soaking for a bit and I'm just going to remove the backing. So that's the front and that's the back. And it just peels off. It doesn't matter if like, I've taken parts of it off, that's okay. So I, I thought of using this particular um, um, page, so it it's uh, quite different to the other pages because it's got quilts and lots of uh, patterns and uh, flowers and things like that. What I wanted this page to look like is, as you can see, let me just turn this around. See how it's, as you can see, it's like almost translucent. I don't know if you can see that. It might be hard to see in the light. Anyway, once I've done that one, I'm just going to put it on the towel here. On the towel here, just to dry. And I'm going to do this other one.
Have you done this before? Um, this magazine transfer idea. Any other tips? If you have any, please let me know in the comments. I'm always learning, always wanting to explore new things. So if you do have an idea that I haven't tried or a better way, I'm always interested to hear. So keep going. Actually, if you take most of the paper off, you'll be left with the just the plastic. And it becomes translucent. It's almost like a um like a wide and big washi tape. Uh, of course, you have to put your own glue, but but it gives that look to it. Just hang on a sec. I think this is better. I may not have taken enough of that other one. Doesn't matter. We can do something with it, no issues. All right. I'm going to let that dry and come back to it. So you just have to make sure that you work, um, yeah, I, I think I was probably, you know, um, pressing too hard on that piece of paper and, and that's why the, the transfer actually ripped. But can you see, if you can see that, um, let me just, just trying to find, can you see how it's transparent and translucent and most of the, the stuff on the back is gone. Um, that's what we want. In fact, like this, I could see that. I could remove more of it. But basically, you need to remove that slowly and um, so that most of it is gone. Most of the, the paper on the back. So you should be left with something like this. I don't know if you can see that. Can you see it's translucent? Yep, I'm gonna let that dry and we'll build a page together. All right, to decorate this page, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to, I've used this book page again from the dictionary. If you haven't watched my previous video, it's this dictionary that I got from the op shop. Uh, it was a dollar and you can get that and there's plenty of pages that you can use for your journal. Uh, so what I've done is I've, I've actually ripped the page out and uh, cut it to size. So it's about there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this like a pocket. But before that, I'm going to decorate and I'm going to put that transfer in here just for extra interest 
uh, and if you can see now how what I'm showing to you is can you see that can you see the book book page coming through that's what a transfer looks like if you use just a normal book page like the magazine page on here you won't get that effect and can you see that that's the same right so that's what you get when you do transfers and here at the bottom can you see that the uh, the words coming through and uh, that's the look I wanted to get for this page so what I'm going to do is um, I'm just deciding whether to um, to rip that or not or just leave it um, I might I might cut that here and we will see how that goes so I decided to cut it to make it a little bit smaller I'm just going to glue that onto here and to make it easier you can either sew down here or Right, and I'm just going to put that there, and this will be a pocket. So I'm going to glue that. And I'm just using normal uh, glue stick. You know, I forget that some of you are new to my channel or new to even junk generally and I'm so sorry if um, if I've gone too quickly and you're still left wondering what you need to do <laughs> so this is as you can see can you see that that's a really nice effect to have all right on the other side I am going to also cut a piece of the book page and place it there and glue it down um, this time, I'm going to glue it down first. Like that. And doesn't matter if it's jutting out a little bit. I actually like that look. I'm going to place this one here. And this one over here. Or should I do it the other way? I think I'll do it the, the other way, like that. And I'm going to glue that down. That's one. If you want to do a lot of these transfers, I suggest what you do is you do a whole lot in one day and then, you know, you could keep them in your stash so you have them readily available to use. Uh, and I found this from the magazine, so I'm going to put that there. which is just there, right there. I also found this in my stash and I'm going to put that here just to add a bit of interest. Just in the, on the edge here. I think it looks cute because it's like a partially ripped, um, you know, uh, side. Um, I might just cut that part here. Now, if it doesn't stick down, you may need uh, Elmer glue, but. Hopefully it does. 
and what I'm going to do then is to grab my Elmer glue and put this here just to add a bit of interest that was my pressed flowers I know I said that I'll just use the magazine but the flowers were calling me from out there so I decided to use that Okay, just putting some glue here um, this one it hasn't got a protection um, so I'm hoping that it just will stay if you want to know how to protect your flowers I have a video for that I'll put it Oh no, this looks like it's fallen off. And this is what happens when you don't have a protective layer over it. Um, I'm hoping that that will actually stay. Yeah, see, you, you, this is a good way to protect your flowers. If you want to know, it's, um, you, it's, it's in my playlist. And I'm going to put that here as well on the there we go just to add a little bit of interest and what you can do then is you can slip something in there I might leave that one in there for now but you can obviously slip something in there to um, you know you you can put a card or uh, you can make a you can make a um, um, a bookmark and put it in here and that will stay in there so that's all for today um, hope you have found this helpful take care and see you in the next video. Bye.